Good morning everyone, hello and welcome to this new video. So today I'm not just flying any product, today I'm flying the best in Britain. As you can see behind me is the British Airways first check-in area. Yep, yeah, that's correct. Today I'm flying British Airways on their first class product to New York uh, on the Boeing 747. The first class check-in area is located at the far end of Terminal 5, where seating, drinks and of course zero queues await you. So guys, this is Paris. Um, Hi guys. He messaged me yesterday saying that he'd be at London Heathrow and seeing as I'm flying first class now, I've got a guesting space into the lounge, so I'm really excited. Yeah, have you been in the lounge before? Yes, I've been, but not the British Airways. Ah, oh, very yeah, nice. So you're going to have breakfast in the British Airways lounge. Where are you flying to today? I'm flying Nice. Very nice. Have a great trip, man. You too. I wandered through the first class lounge and into the Concorde room, which was surprisingly quiet. Thank you so much. Seeing as I have already reviewed this lounge, I'll skip over this part, and the link to that video can be found in the description. So I've arrived at B gates here, satellite B. Um, so that's the main terminal five over there. Then there's satellite B, which I'm in, and satellite C over that way, just to cater for the huge traffic terminal five has. And behind me, you can see the retro British Airways livery. It's so unfortunate that I'm not on that bird today. I would love to be, um, but I think my plane is somewhere down there. So I had hoped to be the first passenger on board today. Um, but because of SSSS checks, which are random for passengers traveling to America, I was downstairs being searched and I'm now pretty much at the back of the queue. So um, I'll probably be one of the last passengers on board, unfortunately. Thank you very much. I was greeted so nicely on board and led to seat 2A. Perfect. You can have that. Thank you very much. Thanks, how comfortable. Well done, thank you. Thank you so much. Pajamas arrived promptly, along with orange juice, nuts, and a hot towel. Around 20 minutes after a short taxi, we took off from London Heathrow and blasted off for New York. Taken off now from London Heathrow, um, and have you ever been to the toilet with such a view like this one? I think that's pretty cool actually that you've still got a toilet with a window view. Um, and here's the famous flower in the first class toilets. This was scrapped at one point, and uh, apparently, British Airways frequent flyers kicked up such a fuss that uh, they, uh, they reinstated it, so the flower is back. So now it's definitely time to get comfortable um, and I'm gonna get into the pajamas and slippers that they handed out before takeoff. Ta-da! Bit baggy, uh, but pretty comfortable and uh, definitely more comfortable than the clothes I was wearing before. 
My welcome drink arrived and was the non-alcoholic Royal Fizz. I really liked it. Once we were on board, we had our headphones here and the blanket. The headphones come in this really cool pouch here. Um, and if you look at them, they almost look pretty hipster. Um, pretty cool headphones. You can imagine these being worn around uh, Shoreditch, which is somewhere quite hipster in London. Yeah, and I have to say they look really, really comfortable. And uh, yeah, I'll be trying them out in a second. What also came is this blanket. Um, doesn't look like anything too special. Um, but that was on board waiting for me when I got on. And then after we boarded, our amenity kits were given to us. Now there was one for men and one for women. Um, obviously I got given the one for men, but I've seen the one for the women and I have to say their packaging is a lot nicer than the male one. So um, I'll be showing you inside this in a bit. The headphones were super comfy and noise cancelling. After around 40 minutes, my table was set for breakfast. I opted for the mixed grill plate, which was really nicely presented and came with a choice of bread and pastries. Alongside the food, I had some raspberry juice. there we have it, uh, the meal service concluded. I have to say, the food was great, uh, the food was nice. I, I wasn't blown away by it. I didn't finish that plate thinking, that was incredible. Um, I didn't finish that thinking, best food I've had on the plane. It was good, um, it was very good, but it was no more. Um, was it a first class meal? Well, that's the kind of standard I think I'd expect for a business class product, um, but as I said, food was good, don't, don't get me wrong. So after that meal service, um, I'd love to give you a tour of this British Airways first class seat. So I'll make this one brief and give you a whistle stop tour. Starting over here, um, we've got a small area here just to store your drinks, uh, your headphones, your phone, whatever. And this is also where the tray table comes out of. So you just lift this, push down, and the tray table comes out like so. And it is very big very movable. Obviously you can get out here and go to the toilet while you're eating which is great. Next up um, and behind that area is where all the literature is kept, um, your safety card, your menu, in-flight reading, that kind of thing. And then up here, um, in this bit here, you have the remote control which comes out like so and that can control the screen. The screen's a bit annoying to touch, it's a bit far away when you're fully sitting back so this remote control is perfectly placed. Then down here we have the seat controls. Now I have to say I really like the seat controls because they're placed in a position where you don't knock them by mistake and change your bedding position um, which can be quite annoying. Some airlines put them down here and your elbow adjusts them by mistake. Whereas here um, it's done in an interesting way with a nozzle. So if you're just sitting down here you can turn it and you keep turning it as and when you want to stop the recline. Um, which I think is pretty cool. Then you can just hold this button here and it will get you back to your uh, standard position. We've also got a USB charger here, um, which mine doesn't work, which is annoying, uh, and a headphone jack down there. And obviously up here you have the standard British Airways lamp. Behind me in the seat is very wide as you can see, and beside me here you have two armrests, which go down when you're into bed mode. Now as we move over to the right here, um, you won't be able to see it from that angle, but basically we've got a cupboard here. Now, the cupboard's great, you can hang your jacket in there. What I use it for, um, I've got all my camera equipment in here, um, and just a bag of, you know, things I want to keep in here. So I've got some sprays, some tablets if I need to take them for my cough. Um, but yeah, it's fantastic, because also down there is a compartment to keep your shoes. If it didn't have this, um, I'd say that British Airways was really lacking on the storage space, because 
there isn't really much storage space anywhere else. So the cabin crew just came up to me. I have to say that's a real treat of this flight. Um, she's fantastic, the girl looking after me. She just came up and said, you know, did you enjoy your meal, that kind of thing. She said, would you like your bed made? Um, this is the new first class. We've got new linen, new bed products, and I'd love you to see it. I said, absolutely fantastic. Currently watching a film. Um, and yeah, why not watch it in bed? So here we have today's first class amenity kit um, and yeah let's uh, let's see inside so individually we've got a comb uh, we've got an eye mask we've got a cleansing muscular facial mask that'd be nice uh, we have socks here toothpaste and a toothbrush uh, what I believe to be earplugs and then here we are uh, shaving foam Ultra Smart Matrix Moisturiser um, eye cream tissues nice British Airways first class pen and of course lip balm and that is today's meal to get. So um, yeah, I just had the entree, the salmon entree. Came with um, avocado, salmon, and there's caviar on there, um, and it basically came on some crispy brown toast. Um, that was a really nice snack, I have to say. Um, I wouldn't have had it as a, as a breakfast option, and it was written down there as one of the breakfast options, but it was really good um, and really nicely done. So yeah, food so far has, has been good. I've enjoyed it. So I've now uh, watched a couple of films, I've slept. Um, I have to say the bedding was really, really comfortable. This is the new first class bedding, I'll remind you. Um, very, very comfy duvet, thick mattress topper. Um, you really didn't feel the seat underneath you at all, so I was really impressed with that. Um, obviously, before I went to sleep, I had the salmon. I've now woken up, um, finished off my film, and I'm going for the afternoon tea service. Now, this is quite a famous service on British Airways first class, because obviously, it's quintessentially British to have afternoon tea. So why not have it in British Airways first class? Thank you. And here it is. So here is afternoon tea service on British Airways' first class. Um, having previously told the crew I wasn't going to drink alcohol in this flight, I have bailed and I've got a glass of champagne um, along with customary English tea um, and here we've got assortment of sweet things down here um, some sandwiches so some more savory things and scones 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 however you want to call it I'm more of a scone person um, this afternoon tea layout is fantastic though. <laughs> Uh, scones are quite a big thing but there is two debates that go on with scones um, the first debate is is it scone or scone um, that divides the country but then the second debate is do you put the clotted cream or the jam on the scone first let me know what you do in the comment section personally I have always put the jam and then the cream but I'd love to know what you guys do so what is the majority comment below are you Jam before cream or cream before jam? So that was the famous British Airways afternoon tea service. Um, and I have to say it was fantastic. It was everything I hoped it would be. The scones were lovely. Um, the sandwiches were lovely. I've never had too much of a sweet tooth, as you guys probably know. Never been too into desserts. Um, but I had a nibble of all of these and they're all absolutely excellent. Um, but yeah, I think it's a lovely way to finish off a flight because a lot of the time you'll get off a plane and you'll be very, very full. You've just had a massive steak or something. But I think this is a really nice touch just to finish off the flight. Um, and we've got about an hour left. I've got a bit of tea left in my pot, a bit of champagne left in the glass, and I have to say I'm having a really amazing flight. The manager just came round, the cabin manager, just giving out these customs forms, but it wasn't just, you know, our oh, customs forms for the US. 
She had a lovely chat with me. Um, we were talking about when she joined BA 20, 25 years ago or something. And no, honestly, I think the crew on this flight have been excellent. Um, and that's really what's made it for me. The end of this flight now, um, about 45 minutes to go before we come to land. I'm just about to go get changed, which sort of is a sad part of the flight, I think. Um, when you have to get changed into your clothes and you know, open all the windows, you know it's really coming to an end. So, as it's coming to a close, what did I think of British Airways today? What did I think of their first class product on the 747? First things first, I'm not going to lie to any of you, this isn't the best first class seat. Um, as you'll see on this trip, there are other first class seats which are heaps better. Um, and I'm sure you'll know from seeing Emirates, from seeing Singapore, there are first class seats out there which are hugely better than this. That being said, I found it really comfortable. The new first class bedding is really fantastic and I slept very comfortably. And I think the aesthetic's quite nice. You've got a really nice lamp here. The seat controls are lovely down here. The screen's good, very responsive, nice touch screen, a good array of films and TV. The table, very big. I think the only thing not going for the seat really is privacy. Um, you've got a, a huge gap here, um, and when you sit further back, that is made worse. Um, when you've got people in the middle, and you're actually very close to the other people. So, the seat may not be the best. The service, the food was good. Um, it wasn't incredible, it didn't blow me away which I feel first class kind of has a duty to. Um, the afternoon tea is a lovely touch, um, where the food was good. Um, but yeah, I did think the food was the food was very good, but it didn't blow me away. The crew, um, I think this really was the highlight of my flight. Um, the crew have been incredible, very chatty. Um, I went upstairs with the crew on the 747, she was showing me around. Um, and I really think that it's that personable touch that a lot of crew don't have. Um, lots of the Middle Eastern airlines just don't have that really approachable personal touch. And for me, I think today's crew really showed what crew should be like uh, on a flight and they really made the experience for me. So overall, yeah, I've had an amazing time in British Airways First Class and I would not hesitate to fly this product again. Um, it is a very easy and very flyable product if you have credit cards, if you know what you're doing with air miles. I booked this flight with Avios as part of a massive trip. Um, and yeah, I'll put a link in the description showing you how you guys can do that. But this is a very flyable first class. If you get the opportunity, 100% do it. Thank you so much for watching guys, I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, be sure to drop this video a like, subscribe, and share with people that you think would love to see this product.